We got the money, drop her off. But boss, she wants to fight about there. Would you like to join her so you can help her, you see? No boss, drop it. It was supposed to be a minor surgery, just an hour under the anesthetic. You felt totally safe. Now that you have awoken inside a drop hot punching through the atmosphere of a distant rim world. Aside from a slick of mystery goo all over your body, you're totally naked. With no preparation, no supplies, no tools. Can you survive? Alright, we are playing some Rimworld. I have done one playthrough before with three people that had everything they could wish for. And it was a lot of fun. It wasn't too bad to actually play this game back then. Yeah, I want to have something more tougher. So I want to start out with Selma. And Selma is naked and afraid. She's all by herself. So you have to start out with nothing. And in this case, there are a few couple of dangers laying on our way, such as bad weather, diseases, animal attacks, and all that kind of stuff. Now we have certain needs, we need to eat twice a day, we have a mood which can make us go really bad, we need to rest, recreation, beauty, and all that kind of stuff combined. Now I'm going to need to play this very smart, and it's going to be a very exciting start of this playthrough. Now over time, probably some people will join up and each fourth person that will join up, I will increase the difficulty. I want to have some fun with this game. I don't want to go super hardcore all the way because, you know, I want to enjoy this. This is my second playthrough and um, yeah, with that being said, let's see what our possibilities are. So I have chosen for a forest template. Uh, which is not too bad to deal with and the thing that I'm going to need to look for at first is farmland in my case So we have here some bad grounds. I should click this one. This will show all the 140% uh, fertile ground which we have a very nice one right down here Anything else? I also would like not to go too far to one edge of the map because if some drop pots will fall down, I need to have a possibility to get it. Now it is at this moment spring, it can be chilly, then we're going to get into summer, then we're going to get into winter. And I think that I would like to start out on this side though because I don't really see something in the middle. Uh, so I think this one is the best one to start with. Now there is something though down here which can save me quite some time building. I just have to add in a piece of wall uh, right down here. Let me just think it might be smart to just go here though. You know what let's just, let's just do that. And the thing that I really need to, to be careful with is mad animals. So at some point I am going to need to build some trap defenses. I just want to click this away. Uh, food is a thing. Also, I need to keep an eye out on animals that are being killed. Because right at this moment, I was shooting us four, which is kind of okay. But it's too bad to just go hunting, get a lot of stuff. I'm mining a six, I'm lucky with that. I have chosen a character that has a little bit of everything, uh, except the medical isn't a thing. Uh, because it's also a thing that you cannot really help yourself if you're wounded. Uh, if you're bad wounded, it's end game. If you just have a few couple of scratches, you can slip through it and the bleeding will stop. Uh, social is good, so we can have a uh, good trait if someone passes by. Uh, construction is for very important because at some point it will be winter. And for the heater, we need to have a 5. And for the cooler, we need to have a 5. Now the power, we need to have a 4. So we could do this, but be aware I'm starting out with nothing. No steel, no components as you can see on the, um, the, the left top of the list. Nothing at all. I need to do everything myself. Alright, I think it's a very good idea to just start out here. We have a couple of doors and over time things might just change a little bit because, you know, I need to... I need to find a way how to build my camp. Okay, so... This is the only way how I know how I can drag a person to a point. And what I also should be doing actually... Yes, we lack everything. Uh, we need to harvest this, we need to harvest that, and probably this one too. 
unless there are a couple of animals out here which is very bad they can eat stuff too so let me just do that one and just do one by one now another thing that i will have to do all right is get some farmland already going asap yeah, the best thing to do here is rice now i have been sick for a few couple of days so that's why there were not really uploads going because my voice was cracked i got a terrible headache and that kind of stuff and i've been playing a little bit of remote on the most easy mode as possible because i need to get used to this again because the last time i played in 2019 and now i'm going to need to have some rice plant all right and another thing that i want to do for sure if i'm not getting to it too quick is i would like to have I shouldn't do things too big and not too fast though. Uh, I am going to need to have some cotton plants. Just in case if. Okay, she's gonna eat. And we need to have a sleeping spot. Uh, do you already need to eat by the way? This is gonna be a lot of micromanagement. She's okay on the food, she's naked, she's cold. It is uh, 6 degrees, but sooner or later it's gonna be summertime. And I just would like to make a small spot. So I'm just going to chop some wood. After she got that stuff done. Uh, oh, she's already doing that, okay. So let me leave out this one, by the way, because she's going to cut that stuff. And what I need to do here is I'm going to need to, I know, but, you know, let me just place it already and then cutting afterwards. I, I am a terrible noob with this game. Like I said, I've been playing this one time, uh, one playthrough. Things went kind of well. So this is going to be her sleeping spot for tonight. All right. I like how this tree is looking, it is onto this um, steel column. Mm -hmm. I think I need to cut this through here, not go all the way around too fancy. Uh, cut this through. Uh -huh. So I have an idea for what I want to do with um, a defense. At some point I can put down some trap because weaponing myself is going to be uh, way too difficult. Wait, maybe I can just... Uh, let me see here. What would be smart? What would be smart? I'm um, going to need to have butchering, campfire. I need to have so much stuff. Okay, let's just do it right away. I think I should be able to deal with this. I don't think we need to put in the corners here. But let's check it out if that is going to work. And so once this is done, slowly but surely, we're going to beautify this place. I need a stockpile. Uh, the stockpile is going to be something like this. I'm not going to be too worried about. These doors are going to be... Not allowed. Let's claim them. Don't allow. Claim. Don't allow. Yeah, so I have an idea for a, a trap work. So the point is I'm playing on community build of um, normal building mode. It's kind of peaceful, uh, but you still can get mad animals. Uh, it won't be attacked just yet. If we have our fort people, I'm going to put it on to community build. And then we start getting uh, raids. Uh, when person number seven joins, I'm going to crank it up again etc at 10 i'm going to crank it up again so slowly but surely uh it, it's going to become more difficult again like right now it is intense difficult if one thing goes wrong it is it is done for it no more play through so yeah so that's why i want to increase the difficulty over time uh, so the difficulty become something of fun so we're going to have ups and downs with difficulties and all right but I really hope and I need to No, I'm not gonna attack this this guy just yet uh, I remember once I attacked a even like a tiny squirrel I couldn't hit it with a bow and then I just decided you know let's melee attack this squirrel and this squirrel bit and scratched me 
and yeah, that's really bad. If I get infections and stuff, really bad. Okay, by the way, how is my cooking? Cooking is... Uh, it's okay, we have a very big percentage of getting food poison. Food poison, the annoying thing about it, I believe, is... If you do something that takes a long time like this, and at the half of it you need to vomit, it will stop uh, cutting down a tree, and then you have to recut it again. So that is really annoying. So let's uh, cut this piece of tree here. Yeah, I think this is a very good start. Uh, later on I will remove some of these. And what I want to do is like having a... Well, we're gonna use this doorway here. Uh, for going out, as in in and out for safety. And then I want to make a hole here, so animals or raiders that are going to be angry with me uh, need to go through a tunnel that goes like this, and they will be able to find me. And uh, what I could do with mad animals is just make also a door here and close it off just for the beginning. Uh, unless it's like a boomalope and I don't want everything to be on fire because that's going to be really bad. Uh, I want to have a tunnel and in those tunnel I want to have traps going. Maybe I need to remove those doors. I'm not sure how big I want to make it. Uh, just have to see. You see? Okay, let's see. Is this... It is indoors. So I, I'm not forced to do like small little things here. All right. Uh, another thing is I could make like a campfire here, but since the summer is coming, it's going to be extremely hot indoors. Something that I'm not in the mood for. Uh, you just... Yeah, you just go ahead and do that. Uh, thanks for the high mood. Mm -hmm. Inspiration, yada yada yada. Price bonus for trading, very good. Okay, meanwhile she is just doing her stuff and things here. I would like to plan things out. Now, of course, at some point I will increase the speed and stuff, but for the beginning I really have to, you know, do something with it. Um, maybe I'll just... Uh, I don't want to make the stuff too big for the beginning. I do want to give it some... I mean, I got a lot of space, as in indoors for now. I need to think. I need to have a door and the entrance. It's the best thing to, you know, make the, um, you know, like the tunnel idea, something like that. A long tunnel with a lot of um, traps. And then this will be, uh, if there's like an enemy, I'll just open the door, keep it open. So the enemy thinks like it can defeat me. It will go through a lot of traps and die before it reaches me. Because if I need to defeat an enemy with bow and arrow, I will have a chance that this enemy, you know, might shoot me and I get bad wounded. That's not okay. All right. So in this case, then I would like to do something like this. All right. And I want to keep it as small as possible. Now, a little bit of farmland is okay. Let me see here, uh, just a little bit. Now, there is a reason why I'm doing it like this, because at some point I'm going to need to make, like, a uh, power, right? The first power thing I can do is a wood generator type of deal. Now, this thing is a square of 2x2, two two, right? So, I'm going to need to have some space outdoors. I want this thing to be indoors for some reason. I'm not sure why and why not. Uh, but what I do know... Let me see here real quick. Is that I'm going to need to have a... Um, I need to have a fridge, right? A fridge might be something like this. Very small, very tiny. I want to cram as possible so if the summer comes... That the few kind of food package that I have will stay warm. Maybe I'll just make it like this big. I just have to see. Maybe this might be a little bit smarter to do. I'm going to need to make a bathroom. Uh, kind of stuff. You know, I need to place like a, a bed somewhere. Which could be, for example, down here. Hmm. It's not 100%, okay. Maybe I need to turn certain things around. Okay, you got some of that. You planted some food. Of course, this is going to be more... Um, she's going to eat. Alright. And uh, this is a little bit... So, the tunnel network is something that come later on. If the now will be a mad animal, because we're playing peaceful mode, they will still be here. I'm just going to sit indoors and just leave it. 
Um, also, at some point, I want to have a small stockpile with chunks. So if there is an animal, whatever, then we can just, you know, do some stone cutting. All right, lady, I want you to do this after that. Uh, okay, yeah, let's continue the planning here. Mm -hmm. Planning, planning, planning. That will be fine. So what I think I'll have to do indoors is... I'm going to need to play thing a little bit smart, though. What I could do... I need like a tiny bedroom where I got future opportunities or options. I mean, I don't know what to talk about. Uh, so this will be a one person bed. We need to have like a bed drawer type of deal. What is that? Uh, furniture. An end table. I believe an end table sh should be near a bed. Mm, small bed side table. Which makes nearby beds a little more comfortable. Must be placed directly at uh, the head of the bed. I mean, it's called end. So I would say it needs to be at the end of the bed. But then it says mm, a bed side table. So bed side. I am not sure if it needs to be here or here. Like, end of the bed could also be where your head is resting, that this is the end. You know, I'm just going to trust on what I would do, um, seeing how things go in real life, you know? In real life, you always see these things near the bed rather than here. Sorry if I'm being an idiot. Um, that's just me sometimes. Alright, uh, what I want to do here... Oh, man. This bedroom needs to be even bigger. So the things that I am thinking of is... Okay, we need this, this end thing to make it more comfortable. We need to have a... Uh, uh, what is it called? A cooler at some point to cool the room. And we need to have a statue at some point to make a bedroom look more impressive. And maybe a light. So it's gonna be cramped up in here. But I think that is the best thing to do. Just like so. Having a bathroom. And this will be the fridge. And then we have some spots to work with. Now like I said, maybe I should play this a little bit smarter. And just put the um, stockpiles. Like here rather than taking space that makes less of sense. Let's allow this one and... D allow, that is a thing. I like that. Alright. And then shrink this. So we can place like workbenches along this nice little uh, edge here. And have all the stockpile stuff, you know, at parts where we cannot have anything really. Um, another thing. Oh yeah. Now let's just keep it playing. Uh, production. So here at production you have a crafting spot. Uh, let's put this crafting spot right down here. Let's put this buttering spot right down there. Meanwhile she's asleep. Just going to kind of see what I have on space. It will be perfect. Like one workbench here which will be a seat here. One workbench here with a seat there. And one workbench right down here. Now we have a spot here which we can place like a cooler. And we're also going to need to have some lights. I want to have like a little pathway that way. But the light is going to be there. I hope it makes all sense. And we're going to put it like that. Mm-hmm. It is a mess, ain't it? <laughs> okay. Like that. We have a little bit of space. I need to have also a little bit of room to... You now do whatever. And this needs to be turned around sooner or later. 
When we have a little bit of our safety cam, then we're going to start building our uh, cam that we really want. So we can say, let's build something out here. Near this thing, I believe, if I'm not wrong, this thing should be three that way, three that way, three that way, three. So this thing will have this size. And then there will be a wall around it to protect it. So we can start building our little camp out here, have a water wheel out here, and start our farmland right down here. I think that's a good idea because, you know, demolishing and, and fixing and whatever not with this building is going to be too much work. Maybe I could attach a little thing down here later on to give it a little more space on that side. Uh, we have a crafting table, tailoring table, um, arting table, yeah, we need to have a dumping stockpile, any tips are also welcome by the way. Uh, let's make this like that and right away shrink it. Uh, the reason being then this person can walk quicker that way in that way and that way whatever not then this stuff will be expanded around here this stuff is going to already uh, expand like that no oh, no I think uh, oh yeah you're a quick sleeper ain't you now let's see something mm -hmm. food you need to eat how about you cutting some berries and I'm thinking of it. I'm also going to need to have a campfire down. So what I might do shrink it even more. Add more. Alright. And then just expand it that way. Something like that. So there is enough places for chunks. So she can do something. And then what I would like to do here is I think it no. Where is it at? Temperature. We need a campfire. And campfire is gonna be like down here. All right. And yeah, you first gonna eat something. One click, two click. Expand this like that. And a few couple more. Expand it, couple more. So there will be like little periods where she can uh, grab something. All right. Sooner or later, this is going to be it already for the first uh, episode. I want to keep it short. I want to keep it logic. Now, the thing here is why I'm looking around is uh, there is wildlife, right? And sometimes there are like wildlife that push your heart, that likes to kill. And if something has been killed, it will be a nice moment to grab it at night when everyone is asleep. Uh, so I can... Uh, not especially for butchering, but for the leather or hide or whatever you want to call it. So I think the best thing to do here is actually check out where this beast is. And check in the surrounding areas to see if it has been killing something. What is that? Gu Guina, Guina pig. Alright, a lot of Guina pigs. I don't think something has been killed just yet, and this is something I need to do each and every night. Just keep an eye on it. Uh, she's a fast sleeper. It is 4 in the morning. Also another thing. Since it's 4 in the morning. Uh, recreation time. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, you know, it's fine. So she can eat now. So yeah, she's a quick sleeper. Perfect. The fast walker. Perfect. And steady fast. Even more perfect. I had to randomize a few couple of times to to get something nice out of it. What you're gonna do? You're just going to relax. Okay, that's fine. Um, because meanwhile, let me just take a look. Okay, we want to uh, harvest some of these. Oh, harvest. You're gonna harvest. And then we're gonna make a couple of food packages, like three meals. We don't want to go too many meals because the thing here is, 
Um, when you harvest this rice, it will be good for 40 days outside. And when you make meal packages, they will be good for, I believe, three days or four days. But you rather want to make a few couple and then move on. And then, you know, getting a whole show going. All right. Uh, unhappy nudity, need warm clothes, uh, lax, uh, weapon. Now, one thing we could do. Let me see here, is make a bow, after she's been relaxed, let her, let her relax, because relaxing gives her, you know, uh, gives her good moods, very important. Alright, so with that being said, I'm just going to leave it with this, the next time we're going to see how far we can get, so far everything is just perfect, very good, no uh, heat waves, no mad animals and that kind of stuff. Uh, but it could go terribly wrong in the next episode.